Hello viewers, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, even TikTok. These are social media platforms to mention just a few. Into this video, I will be chatting about how social media can help you achieve success in business. How social media platforms can help you build a successful business. Tip number seven from my top 10 tips on how to achieve success in business. Coming up. to world of niches world my name is lady julia hello to all my awesome subscribers thank you all for tuning in thank you all for your loyalty to the channel thank you all for finding the content of my channel worthy of your time are you new to the channel first time here please subscribe to the channel and of course I hope you stick around as you all know I love comments comments are indication to me that you actually watch the video so please comment on the video give it a like and subscribe to the channel thank you Social media platforms started out as a tool for fun among friends, a tool to stay connected, not anymore. Today, social media platforms has evolved into powerful tools used to build successful businesses. Powerful tools with which individuals have built successful businesses. Viewers, having a digital presence on any one of these social media platforms has the potential to give you and your business a huge reach, a wider audience across so many countries. It can help you go global social media is so powerful more powerful than our traditional uh, media of communication and advertising let me put this in perspective for you facebook alone has 2.89 billion users monthly let me repeat that facebook alone has 2.89 billion active users monthly YouTube has 2.9 billion users on its platform these are serious numbers viewers now imagine imagine putting your business on any one of these social media platforms that's a lot of eyeballs on your business Anyone remember the days when we used to advertise in newspapers? Or do you remember when we used to uh, put ads on notice boards or distribute flyers from door to door in our neighborhoods? Gosh, we sure have come a long way, haven't we? Leave me a comment. Tell me if you have ever used newspapers, or distributed flyers, or put notices on notice box. Let's, let's have a chat about that in the, in the comment section. Sorry about the dogs barking, viewers. I am in a, a park. I thought I'd come out and do this in nature. So excuse the barking dogs. People are walking their dogs. Putting your business on any one of these social media platforms helps you bring 
your business closer to your customers. Your customers can have a direct and interactive communication with you as a business. Your customers can send you feedback, reviews. They can even suggest to you ideas or strategies that can help you grow your business. As a business, you can also send notifications about your business. Couple of clicks and you can send notifications to thousands or even millions of your customers around the world. Sales notifications, promo, uh, promo notifications. These are the so many things you can do when you put your business on any one of these social media platforms of your choice. This customer relationship, if cultivated and maintained, can help build trust with your customers. And as you know, trust translates into sales. Sales means you're in business. Customers like to shop in a place where they have trust. We all know relationships take time to build. Business relationships are no different. It takes time, it's time consuming. This all said, cultivating and maintaining a, a good relationship with your customers need work. You have to work at it to make it work. Now, as a business owner, it's so time consuming trying to cultivate and build and maintain a relationship with your customers. There are so many things that needs your attention. So here is where those social media managers come in. Hire a social media manager or social media, somebody with a social media expertise to help you cultivate and maintain a good uh, business and customer relationship and that way uh, you can focus your attention on other things other aspects of your business management viewers i would like to share a personal story and experience with you last year's summer of 2021 and with my atm cards i hopped on a bus heading for uh, west end of london i needed some serious shopping therapy my plan for the day was to shop till i drop well maybe not drop but just you, you get the idea i needed to just do some shopping get myself out of the funk of the pandemic so armed with my atm cards i headed out on the bus to the London West End. Now, for the benefit of those who are watching from outside of uh, London or outside of Europe and you're not familiar with uh, London, London West End is where we have um, all the big names, all the big shops, the high-end shops uh, here in London. So I headed on to London's West End on the bus. I haven't been in almost um, 18 years I think so you can imagine my excitement I was gearing up to stomp the streets and uh, do some serious shopping as the bus inched closer to Oxford Circus I couldn't wait to get off the bus and once I got off I was ready within minutes of disembarking from the bus I quickly felt a feeling of being disappointed. I was swept away with uh, disappointment. And I was wondering what happened here? Where are the big shops? Where are my favorite shops? Dabnams, Wallace, uh, Dickens and Jones. So I couldn't find them. So I walked into a gap shop. I don't remember if it's Oxford Street, I can't remember which one it is, but I walked into a gap shop to try and find some answers as to the disappearance of my favorite shops. So I was speaking to one of the staff 
and I asked what happened to all the shops here and he said oh well I'm, I haven't been here in a long while I said yes of course he goes well they have all shut and they've gone online oh online he goes yeah and as I talked and I asked all the questions I was looking around looking around and I couldn't help but noticing all the boxes in strategic corners of the shop floor and I asked are you also closing the shop he goes yeah 31st of August 2021 the Gap store was closing and business will be going online I couldn't make this up even if I tried this was last year summer sometime in July of 2021 viewers year 2020 with the lockdown drama was the last straw the final nail in the coffin so to speak yet 2020 was when the whole world went online the concept of doing business became fully digital are you starting out in business as a new business owner the use of social media to grow your business is inevitable viewers owning a business these days without having a digital presence online without being on any one of the social media platforms it's like trying to open a new door with all keys as a matter of fact if you do not have a digital presence online people perceive your business are somewhat sketchy if you know what I mean the streets are emptying out pretty fast everybody is online you need to have some food you're hungry you go online it's raining outside you don't feel like coming out of your home you go online and put your order through and somebody brings them on to your doorstep money follows attention money follows eyeballs so what's it gonna be stay away from social media platform and do business the traditional way the choice is yours are you a business owner watching this video this very moment share with us in the comment section how you have grown your business putting it on social media platforms please subscribe to the channel don't forget to like and comment in the comment section below thank you so much for finding the content of my channel worthy of your time and remember friends that live and living is not cheap stay on that hustle I'll see you all in the next video best wishes always